What's up, y'all? So giving you a quick little intro to this video. I'm going to try to keep this short, but this was week 13 for me of this training block. One more week to go. I was in Memphis all week in between two games. So I threw in Mississippi, uh, Louisiana and followed that up with throwing in Mississippi the following weekend. So unfortunately, the previous week, if you watched the last training vlog, I had, I don't know, there was not a moment, but my low back got tweaked. Um, survived through Louisiana, um, was able to actually throw okay, didn't affect me too much, but then it hit me after Louisiana even worse, and all week long in Memphis, and I think part of it was just a too soft of a bed, I was a low back wreck, so you're going to see a lot of low back rehab stuff, I'll voice over and talk through some of that stuff in this video, but really only two real training sessions, a couple other days of mobility in this, that, and the other, but yeah, um, kind of a rough, rough week, but uh, yeah, this is week 13, and it was good. I tell you what, success in Louisiana, I'll preface that next video, uh, was led, I think, in part to a lot of sleep. Go figure. So enjoy the video, y'all. I'm going to let y'all just listen to this one. How'd that one look? Not as bad, right? No, it's getting there. You're getting to the point now where you're actually, you have extension. It literally, all it took was me doing this and this pull, feeling my pec. Yeah. Like here, it's like I feel this, I'm trying to use my right side. So now here, I'm trying to emulate that same pull. Dude, I, I think you should stop and just literally throw the opposite way. That looks so much better. You're not even trying and it's going super high on that left side. What Justin doing to his sheep? He just gained 10 feet. <laughs> he switched hands. He switched hands. Dude. I don't know. That feels like night and day difference all of a sudden. Huh, that's frustrating. If even if my head goes back, feeling that pull. It's going off the back, but it feels like it's going high. hands I feel like I'm gonna stab myself in the leg and it goes magically high it's like I have this tightness in my right back dude look at it's the tiniest difference it is the tiniest difference. You see how far your chest is over? Oh yeah. Like your chest is just a little bit less. Like it's it's a it's fractionally less. So this is one of the earlier throws. Yeah. But like chest is. Oh yeah, it's way different though. Yeah. This is the good way. And this is the bad way. Look at your shoulder rotation. Look at how rotated forward that shoulder is. Yeah. Versus here, it's like open. Yeah. It's like. It is. It's like feeling. I don't know how to feel it this right. Like when I'm here, it's just all yeah. through this. So it's almost like I need to throw without my right side, really. If I'm throwing with my left hand, it's like no right. All right, I probably should stop. Yeah. You want to grab the bag? All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and say, if you've actually got to this point in the video and you're not already subscribed, please do. Uh, if you do like the videos and you're subscribed already, you can start thumbing them up. Um, that helps me grow this channel, helps me be found more, be more notoriable, gets more views, et cetera, et cetera. That's how this channel grows. That's how this sport grows, honestly. If you're a Highland Games fan, people knowing about this sport is what needs to happen for this sport to grow. More strong men need to find it, et cetera. So, Onto the training. Um, this was a Wednesday, uh, and I didn't record the lifting before this. I ended up doing some light high pulls, um, and I didn't take a ton of throws on the day. More sheaf than anything. I still was, the high pulls were very light, and did a bunch of core work before it. I didn't video it because I was kind of in the moment and kind of trying to focus on the rehab setting of things with the low back being a problem. So um, was really acting up, and lo and behold, it was probably that mattress um, just being too soft for me. Uh, and that's why I've bought myself mattresses at the firehouses I work at, as well as replaced the main one I sleep at home a couple years ago. 
But weights went okay. One thing I do notice is I did, and I think it might have been the throwing shoes on pavement. I somehow naturally flattened my orbit, uh, and those went okay, all things considered, not going super, super hard. Then this is a Thursday lift, um, and the goal was all speed, so we lifted it through right after. And I was trying to think to myself, how can I stay out of the bottom end? Because that's where it's kind of giving me some issues um, of my squat, deadlift, etc. So I ended up doing some half squats here, uh, which are very awkward, and you feel kind of dumb doing them after squatting deep all these years. And then I ended up going up even more. So from 352, this is up to like 407, 405, something like that. Um, 402 with the 25s on there and I added a box for um, to give me kind of a depth guide because kind of going down slow and eccentric was kind of weird and I wanted to try to speed it up as long as I felt confident with my low back and staying nice and braced as you can kind of see I take my time bending over I worked my weight up these are 45s in my hands I believe for the heaviest for singles I'd done trip doubles at 35s and uh, triples at 25s kind of working up with the jump weight as well so this is Thursday before games for me always tends to be kind of an all speed day um, so I did uh, kind of quote unquote speed squats here with my in my head at least. Um, we ended up doing some speed deads off of mats once again, avoiding that low position. Um, they look really slow on camera, but they felt really good honestly. I felt strong, which is I mean it's not a lot of weight, but they're supposed to be fast, and not heavy. But then did some speed bench um, and a few other things. Uh, some ab wheel. I don't want to. I just don't have a drive to bench anymore, but I think I'm going to have to uh, with the whole you know, shot put, stone put, Braymar. Bigger bench might help though, so I might keep just a progression of speed bench, so staying away from the super, super heavy. But uh, yeah, speed bench with some chains here, and then did uh, some McGill pull ups and some ab wheel to finish off the workout. Uh, and I, I, there's a lot of other rehab work I did in the beginning. I did like goblet squats and kettlebell swings and farmers carries overhead carries some other core stuff a lot of stuff to warm up and get moving really good it's probably about 30 minutes of it and i just didn't film that stuff today i didn't film it all week um doing all that stuff walking in circles with a kettlebell in one hand i started very light with those like 20 pound kettlebell 15 pound kettlebell and worked my way up um, staying comfortable and confident so after this we went out and threw and just to touch it um did uh, just a touch it before the games. It was a Thursday. So a couple stand throws, a couple full throws in the shot put. And I hadn't touched a hammer, and I wanted to since it was my last games to throw a hammer uh, this year. And I really wanted to bump those numbers up. So we threw a little bit of light hammer. Um, and we got we were able to, one, get the blades in because they haven't had any rain in Memphis in forever. And, two, this hammer didn't break. So it was a win-win. But um, these uh, I did correct myself a little bit of a cue here on my shot put uh, or stone puts here shot put really and it did kind of help um i was kind of winding up and trying to be too rotational i feel like and not driving ahead enough and i mean I, it worked for me i didn't see a ton of you're not gonna see a ton of change in the video but it's something i kind of cued myself on and threw a season best the following weekend if you watch that footage when i'll put it out either tonight or tomorrow um and then these hammers, I just tried to, uh, this very first one, stay long and loose um, and just tried to kind of each one add a little bit of acceleration. I was going to be done and then they were feeling good. So that's really weird. And that's something that for me with my, whatever goes on with my back, somehow hammers doesn't really bother them that much. The way the rotation is, it, it's more like a vertical up and down. It bothers my, my back. But um, when I got to the last hammer, I realized the cue of pushing down. I hadn't done it. Took the last one, and I think the very last throw of this practice in this video goes uh, just over 115. So that was a little mark I wanted to hit my head. Not my practice best by far, but something I've been trying to hit uh, as consistent as possible this year in practice. So, um, yeah, wonderful week in Memphis, getting to hang out with my brother uh, all the time and throwing and lifting together. I wish we could do it all the time. <laughs> We'd be unstoppable if that was the case. But. Anyways, guys, I know if you guys are really watching to the end this far, you guys enjoy this stuff. So keep uh, following along. I'm excited to change things up and give you the off season here shortly. So let's uh, celebrate this one with the fist pump and hands up. Let's go. The end. I'm done.